Nanda Bugel Pumalanga TV, Lipito Lam in Tobulong of Lagatis Bong, inform Bia Ma Pepete. Namusa and Pagatin is to be Sambana Alicia, Lagabuya go convict flight low felt oops. Ganya Ahabisana na Magia Posa, Lana Naya Uneyaki in Klang, Klangan, Lobitanguting, Pinky Posa Foundation. I can see the goods was Pateleni, but to my pan, but for some parts in Namutla, Jabba Migmanigata, my food parcels. How are you? Well, thank you. I'm good, thank you. Who must be in town? I am Alicia. I'm from COVID Flight in Bumalanga. And we are privileged to be here today to feed these beautiful people. Oh, man, so you are just feeding the people, giving them parcels? We are giving them food parcels, we're giving fruits, we are giving as much as we can. We understand that there's a need due to this COVID period. And we realize that we need to assist the people. Mrs. Poza from the Pinky Poza Foundation jumped on. Uh, all the organizations, uh, COVID flights jumped on, ACOM Foundation jumped on. And we thought it's a great time to reach out to our community. We appreciate it no, so no, much. No, Thank you so much, Mrs. Alicia. Thank you. It's good to have you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, ma'am. How are you? So good to see you, Mrs. Maposa. Very happy to be part of this, uh, where we're distributing food to the needy. Thank you so much, ma'am. So you're also coming to help with the other association? Yes, we almost partnering. And then, uh, of course, by food, donations, also uh, yeah, packaging and also distributing. As you can see, today we're distributing. But ma'am, how do you classify the people who are really in need of the food? Because I mean, there are so many people out there who are standing waiting for the food to get. How do you, I mean, classify them? To be honest, we're not working alone. Okay. We work with the community leadership. Because yes. there's no way in which you can go into a community and then you already know who's needed. So yes. We then give them time to identify the poor people, go to their families and identify them. Yes. After that, they give us a list and then we, say, we go back to them and say, consolidate. Oh, that's what we're now preparing to come. Yeah? And then when, when we are ready, we then tell them, can you tell those people to come at a particular point so that we can then distribute? Because that's the the most easiest way, otherwise going home by home, <laughs> it was not going to work. Yeah, then we are going yeah. to take the whole day. For instance, from here we are going to another community. I understand. And our area of focus has been uh, farming communities, which we think are not getting enough attention. Yeah. So we've identified, and then we're also working with a social worker here. There's a social worker that uh, helps us to, cons you know, to confirm the need, because the social workers can see people yes, who are needy, yes, 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 they definitely. give us the accurate information. Uh, so it's not like this is from Tamsaki. Yes. Um, provincial, um, sorry, the community leadership. What is the foundation? Lucia Mabunda Foundation. Um, uh, then here, for instance, the Lucia Mabunda Foundation helped us to identify the families. Oh, okay. And then they, uh, they gave, gave us the list. And then we came as COVID uh, flight to come and distribute. Hello, my name is Sue. I'm the CEO of Acorn Foundation. We are one of the main partners of the COVID flight, which is an initiative started by pilots in South Africa to get food to the rural areas as quick as possible during the COVID lockdown. Uh, COVID flight in Pumalanga is one of our main distribution areas, which is coordinated by Alicia, and uh, the Pinky Poza Foundation has been one of our main funders. What Acorn does is we help them to procure um, the best quality foods, highly, highly nutritious foods, um, at the best price, uh, which they then dis they identify beneficiaries and they coordinate the distribution of the parcels. 
well, collection, storage, distribution of the parcels. Um, one of the things that we, that we had made specifically for the COVID flight was uh, antiseptic soap, which we distributed to the areas where a lot of the people don't have access to soap and, and uh, any other materials to sanitize. Yeah. So that's basically, yeah, and, sorry, and we, we manage the funds. So a lot of the people have, have donated money from the community. The Pinky Pooza Foundation has been our major contributor um, during this period. Thank you, Pinky. Pleasure. Uh, thanks to Pinky, we, we've definitely delivered more than 10 tons of, of hampers in the region in Pumalanga, low felt in Pumalanga. What is key is that the, our packages are aligned to the packages that are prescribed by the Department of Social Development of assisting government to reach out to as many people as possible. It's such a privilege to be here. In Mpumalanga, we don't have gender, we don't have man or female, we don't have black and white. We are one unity yes. and we want to look after our community and I invite everybody to follow this example and look after your communities. Thanks so much. Okay, to the Mpumalanga people, indeed, let's all listen to our president and do what the president says we must do. This COVID-19 is real. It is in the air. We don't know when it's going to strike, but what's best is that, as the president has put it to all of us, let's try and keep healthy. Let's also try and keep safe. And we're going to do that by washing our hands and making sure that there's social distance and also we must try and avoid to touch our faces. But what's key, let's sanitize as well. Thank you very much. Please, let's listen to the president. He's our leader, so let's listen to our leader. So as food and is it and the COVID is food is a lot, I would need shy and any mazan. A jail, much when and fun get children to lay your labor and I control and it. What's the Nabasitagelebomage, <laughs> Thank you, COVID Flight. Thank you, Pinky Forza Foundation. Yeah!